me clear up that smoke and welcome you to something new I want to try and it's called smoke testing. In these videos I want to test some of the computers that I have laying around and never got to testing. I think that's something that most other computer collectors are familiar with. You're just in the spur of the moment buying a lot of computers and then find yourself with a bunch of them on your shelf that you've never got around to testing them. I want to start off this pilot episode, I may say, with this Macintosh LC. Not the most rare of computers, but always nice to come across. I believe they were released in around the 1990s. And this, of course, is the first one. And what makes this computer interesting is that it doesn't have the original SCSI hard drive in it, but it has a blue SCSI. So I want to try that. Uh, I don't have a real legitimate Apple monitor, so I'm going to try to hook it up to a VGA adapter. So we're just going to turn on this computer and see what happens, see what's installed on the blue SCSI and hope that there won't be any smoke in this smoke testing video. And of course the term smoke testing comes from turning on a computer that has the Rifa caps inside, my arch enemy, and finding that after 30 years of not being used, they have a tendency to explode and release a very, very disgusting smoke. So I believe that there is not really anything in this power supply which will smoke, but now I fear saying that, that I jinxed myself, but we will see because this is smoke testing and we do not fear smoke. So I'm gonna turn it on. First start by turning on the monitor and hoping that I got the pinout correct on the VGA adapter. There we go. Oh, maybe I can try this button. I cannot. Depends on the computer if you can use it, I believe. There we go. We have sound, but no video. Ah, uh, we have video. Oh, it's in English. Expected it to be in Dutch. Welcome to Macintosh. Nice. Some symbols. Gotta say it looks nice on this monitor. Ooh, let's go to about this Mac. Macintosh LC, total memory, 10,240K, largest unused block, system software, of course being macOS 7.1. I wonder if there's Anything on this? Ooh, Tetris. Mac draw, nice. Teach text, I'm not familiar with that. So this is probably just an generic worth processor. Can we save the file to the blue SCSI? Of course, we will take a look at the blue SCSI in a minute. In a minute. Saved. Ah, nice. Let's try some Tetris. Wonder if we have sound with that. Maybe I need to hook up some speakers for that. Oh, looks nice. Also, in a minute, I'll be opening the case and taking a look at the motherboard because I think, as most people know, that the, the boards from this era from uh, Apple are prone to having very leaky capacitors that can damage the motherboards over time. So probably this board needs to be recapped. I believe I have one that's been recapped by someone else. I should get it out. That's another example of one of those computers that you buy because it has a nice price and you're just really liking vintage hardware at that moment. And then you find yourself having it in storage for a while. I should get that one out as well. And maybe give it a smoke test. I suck at this Tetris, but it's weird because I cannot use these weirdly laid out cursor keys. I have to use the numpad, but I think I have to use the numpad in the same orientation as the arrows are on the keyboard. Big draw, always good fun. So we've had Tetris Magdraw, which I failed at. Let's look at the system folder, what we can find there. 
Apple menu item, fonts, scrapbook file, system, clipboard, extensions. Let's see what extensions does. Ooh, we have almost up to a gigabyte available, I see. Apple share Aladdin, what's that? Somebody's probably yelling at the screen. How can you not know what Aladdin is? Translators. Either talk, finder help, image writer, personal, token talk, style writer, a lot of printer related and network related stuff. So I think we've seen enough of the software that's on the blue SCSI. I'll have a look and see if I can find some more software and maybe show that in a later video. And it's also probably, isn't it also probably be interesting to see if we can hook up this floppy emu that I got for my Apple IIe and my AVT Comp 2, so the Apple II clones, and see if we can use this floppy emu. But I think that you cannot use it externally, but that you have to uh, put it in the case. Because the actual floppy drive on this computer, I think, is not really functional and maybe is suffering also from the broken gears. I think I'm going to get a blank floppy disk and see if it works in this floppy drive. Disk name. And I looked up the command because I always forget it. So it's command E to eject. So we'll have a look if that eject mechanism works. Oh, that surprises me. So now I'm going to turn off this Macintosh LC because we've taken a quick look at the contents of that blue SCSI. We'll take a look at what it's looking like on the inside. And then I think we're going to wrap up this a quick smoke testing video. So the nice thing, of course, about these LCs is that you can open them with those nice snapping plastic thingies in the back and remove the cover and have a look on the inside. So I think that those caps are already leaking a bit and that there's some cap stuff on the chips or be cleaning that off with some alcohol later seeing if I can remove those capacitors just to be sure also there's some rust on this part of the computer on these connectors it's apparent that something might have leaked here uh, in it and also the power supply needs a recap I think because it's a bit crusty I would say. Then we take a closer look at what is the main attraction of this Macintosh LC and that of course is the blue SCSI that is hiding here in the place where normally hard drive would be and it's held down with this sticky tape which is not working really well and it looks like someone soldered this together themselves. So we have the mini SD card here and if we flip it over this probably is uh, is it an Arduino I would say and it's interesting that it's all being powered from the from the ribbon cable it appears and that the power connector is not in use so it's a great little nifty device to put in for instance this Macintosh LC and have a fun game Mac. This Macintosh LC you will probably be seeing on the channel again if I'm gonna attempt to give it a quick restore some much needed TLC but for now as the room is filling with the cheap smoke again because the budget doesn't allow real smoke I want to thank you for watching this smoke test of a Macintosh LC. Thanks for watching, bye!